Hi, my name is Alyssa and I draw a lot of Animal Crossing characters. In addition to my A to Z series, which I'm still working on the final artwork for those, I thought it would be cool to do a 10 day countdown until the release date of New Horizons. So I'll be doing 10 little speed paint videos like this of New Horizons new villagers or some returning friends in their New Horizons outfits. So without further ado, let's get started. Continuing my countdown to New Horizons release date, I have uh, four special characters on deck. Today, tomorrow, the day after, and the day after and that are all special characters, as in non-villager new characters, new arrivals to New Horizons. And today I'm drawing CJ Chip Jr., the new fishing tourney judge. And I thought it was interesting that they're changing it so that the fishing tourneys, it seems like, not confirmed, but it seems like there's going to be one per season because they showed on screen during the direct, I think, where it says, welcome to the summer fishing tourney tournament. And I think they're going to do spring, summer, fall, and winter instead of, what was it before? Like once every two, three weeks, something like that. So it'll be a little less regular, but maybe it'll be a bigger all day event and something that's a little more fleshed out than in previous games. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what all that is like and if they're going to have special fish that only come out during the tourney or if they do something unique for the tourney to make it more special than it's been in previous games. I think that'll be interesting. I really like how the color palette on this character um, works so well with the limited colors I already had picked out from the beginning. Um, I didn't really have to alter the colors all that much at all. I just had to create this greenish gray by mixing a few colors together, but he works so well within the confines of the color palette I had set up. I didn't really need to change much, which is perfect. I wish all the rest of the characters went that easily, but uh, yeah, he fits in so perfectly with these island colors. The little pop of teal on his jacket with the yellow and his greenish fur tone and the little orange lure. All these little colors come together really nicely, I think. And he and tomorrow's characters and the other special character coming in three days, I think are the best use of this islandy color palette. I think they're the most successful. So in short, I'm really happy with how this guy came out. And again, if you're new to this channel, this program I'm currently using is Adobe Animate. I use a mix of Adobe Animate and Procreate for almost everything I draw or I draw exclusively in Procreate. But when it comes to Animal Crossing art, I use Animate because I'm able to use this pen tool to create extremely smooth, crisp vector shapes that are nice and clean edged and flat and ready to go. It's much easier to add texture on top of this, I think. I like how his little beavery tail came out too. I think beaver tails are so interesting to draw as cartoons because they're so flat and cartoony as is. They're just an interesting shape and I do wish there were more beavers in the game because I think it would be fun. Like, you know when squirrels walk around in the game and their tail kind of does a little bobbing animation and it's super cute? I think it would be fun to have more beaver villagers in the game and you could watch their tails like plap 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 around and they could make a little slapping sound when they hit the grass. I think that would be adorable. <laughs> Just a thought. There's all kinds of new species that I hope they introduce and do you guys think they're gonna have any new species in New Horizons for these villagers or do you think they'll stay within the confines of the villager types we already have, the species we already have? I've seen some really cool fan renders of like bats and uh, geckos and all kinds of other stuff on the internet and it just makes me like hungry for those kinds of characters in Animal Crossing. There's so many cool species they could be doing that I think would add so much to the game. And I really wonder if they're going to do it or if they're going to stick to the species that we already know and love. Do you think they'll add more species? Let me know in the comments below. I, I'm, not holding out, I'm not holding out hope for new species, honestly, but I will be happy just to see a variety of new design types of rabbits and cats and all the other stuff we already have. I would love to have more, like, beavers and, like, muskrats and ferrets and like weird stuff in the game. I think that would be fun. Ferret would be so interesting. How would you handle that? I guess you would handle the long neck the same way as you would for the for like giraffes. Like Gracie Grace just with a little ferret head at the top. That could be kind of fun.
It's these little nitpicky details like the end of the fishing rod that can be a little irritating. I kind of mess around with it for way longer than I wanted to to get the shape right. These little tiny areas can be kind of a pain, but generally this is a pretty painless process of just making lines and hitting the fill bucket tool. Sometimes little stuff like this gets annoying. See, I'm trying to get the two sides of the jacket to line up on the opposite side of the fishing pole. But yeah, other than this little hiccup, this whole process went pretty quick. And I did that real-time Tom Nook drawing the other day, and it took about 45 minutes start to finish. All of these took, I feel like, much less time. I didn't time myself, but I felt like, on average, these took a half hour or less, give or take. So I'm getting a little more efficient and quicker with my process, which is always good. It means I'll be able to crank out the rest of the A to Z villagers faster, you know, knock on wood. So here I'm adding in all the details in Procreate, like the line on the fishing pole and his little shine on his eyes and getting all that shading laid in. And again, I'm really happy with how the colors on this guy turned out. I love that neon yellow up against these teal colors and the greens. I think he came out really successfully. I'm super happy with this little guy. And I can't wait for you all to see the video when it goes up because I'm editing all these back to back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this leading up to the release date of New Horizons. And also like and subscribe because I'm drawing stuff and posting stuff all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day.